So welcome to the conference. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of um, thanks and welcomes and a little bit of housekeeping and then we'll move straight on to our keynote. So firstly, thank you participants. Thank you all of you. Um, great to have you here. Uh, always talk about your audience at the start, I was told. So who are you? You don't have to answer. I can answer for you. There's about 160 of you. Um, so that's a nice number. It's a good number for a meeting. Not too big, not too small. I think we could manage another 20 or so. So if you'd like to bring some friends next time, that would be great. But uh, it's a good number for a meeting like this. Um, we're about 50-50 new and returning people, which is, seems to be the same every year. It's kind of interesting. Um, who here is new? Welcome all the new people. Glad to have you here. Thank you for coming. Um, who here has been to all nine conferences? Oh, you sad, sad people. Yeah, all right, good, okay, excellent. Um, we're about 50-50 uh, UK and rest of the world, um, or most of the world, as I used to tell my American friends when they talked about rest of the world. Um, so that's a kind of uh, average number to be expected. Um, and our gender balance uh, for the most common two genders is about 55, 45. So again, that's a very common balance we tend to have, so that's uh, something we keep a bit of an eye on. Um, as those of you who have been before know, I like to play with the delegate list a little bit. Uh, last year, we had far too pe many people with the surnames beginning with W, and we've cut that down um, a little bit. Um, we, uh, we have six Lauras, Laras, and Laurens. Um, you probably don't agree amongst you that that's nearly the same, but I decided it was. Um, <laughs> we have quite a lot of Bens this year. I don't know why we have lots of Bens, but we do. So welcome all the Bens and the Benjamin. Um, I'm, notably, we have two Elizabeths, and they're notable because they're both in disguise. Um, <laughs> so, welcome Lizzie and Betsy, and thank you for making our name badge challenge just a little bit more uh, exciting. Um, we've got a strong competition for the longest surname this year, depending on whether you count hyphens or not. Uh, so that's quite an impressive um, group. And we've got fairly strong competition for the shortest name overall although Ali Fox still remains the all-time winner. Uh, she's not here today, unfortunately. So that's kind of who we are, who you are. Um, only one delegate spelt their name wrong on the registration, as far as we know. But you might look at your name badge and see whether it's spelt correctly. You can get a new one made. Um, many people felt their name should be all in capitals or in lowercase, and we, we kind of didn't agree. Um, but uh, uh, that's, that's looking through the participant list. So that's who you are. Um, Thank you for coming. Thank you, contributors, speakers, debaters, moderators, and so forth. The R2R philosophy is that we're all participants. And some of us occasionally get up on stage and do something, and then we go back to being participants, rather than it being there's grandees on the stage and an audience. And so we're all kind of in this together. But uh, loads of people have done loads of work to make this happen. And I want to thank you all for your, your contribution to the process. Thank you, sponsors. Very important. Um, our sponsors are listed here. Um, they make a big difference to the finances of the event. We'd be more expensive if we didn't have these sponsors. Royal Society of Chemistry, our gold sponsor. We have three silver sponsors, Digital Science, MDPI, and Atapon, and also some uh, uh, lower grade sponsors, who I'm sure would like to upgrade to silver next year. Um, and then they'll get named individually. That should be nice for them. Um, but uh, please do support our sponsors. They are a very valuable part of our process. And actually, they support us in other ways. They quite often support us with uh, uh, content or staff or other contributions. So that makes a, a significant difference. So thank you, sponsors. Boring housekeeping now. Um, I'll try not to make it too boring. Uh, Wi-Fi, uh, you'll see, is BMA House um, 1832. Uh, it's uh, um, uppercase, lowercase, specific. Um, there is a QR code on your table, so you can just scan the QR code for the Wi-Fi. The other thing I would suggest is if you have been here before, you might, if you're having any difficulty with Wi-Fi, you might disconnect and forget the network and then rejoin it. Uh, in the past, I've found occasionally that's helpful. Social media, um, that's our hashtag. Uh, we don't really do Twitter anymore. We've kind of gone dark on Twitter um, for all kinds of reasons to talk to me about in the break. Um, but if you're thinking of posting on Twitter or, or LinkedIn or something, then there is a, a hashtag to use. Timekeeping, please be on time. Um, I was two minutes late, but those stairs, I, I've been up and down those stairs 63 times in the last two days, so uh, that was just slow. Uh, support, if you need any help or support, you can just email admin at .com, um, or you can ask anybody who's got a red uh, name badge 
So they then have red lanyards and red name badges. So Ruby and her team are here to support you in any way you need to be supported. Uh, Ruby's just oh, standing at the back there waving. Uh, it's also Ruby's birthday today. Yay. So Ruby was probably thinking of a nice lie-in and a cup of tea on her birthday and you know, then go out shopping or something, but no, not, not this time. We always have our toile on Ruby's birthday. It's also, uh, those of you who before remember Cat, it's Cat's birthday on Thursday, so our toile's a great thing for them, they love it. Um, conduct, we don't have a conduct policy. Our conduct policy basically is be nice to each other. Um, if someone's not being nice to you, then speak to me or speak to somebody with a red badge and we will just be sensible about what to do about it. Uh, badges. Um, Oh, I'm not sure what the rules are now. I think the rules were, I would, no, I'll come back to badge. So badge, you should have your own badge. If it's wrong, speak to a support person and we'll change it. Um, you may have to give them back at the end of the day and get new ones tomorrow, but I will update you on that later. Dietaries, we do know if you've said you've had a dietary need, um, the food is labeled fairly extensively as to what it is, but if you have any concerns about it, please speak to the catering manager at, um, at lunch and they will sort you out. I mean, in a good way. Um, accessibility, nobody has told us about any accessibility issues, uh, but if you have any uh, accessibility issues or any concerns about that, just um, let us know. We are photographing and recording some of these things, so if you have any concerns, you've already signed off a disclaimer saying that you're entirely happy with that. You might not have noticed, but you did. Um, but if you have any concerns about being photographed or recorded or anything like that, then uh, let us know. Uh, the venue can be complicated if you've not been here before. There should be maps on the tables um, and there's signage everywhere or again just ask someone. Fire exits are clearly marked. There's no fire practice. There used to be a fire alarm at 11 o'clock every Monday so we moved the start of the conference to Tuesday to avoid that. So um, if there's a fire just leave in a sensible way. A survey. This is the most important thing about the entire conference. Um, we have a, a feedback survey. Uh, you will find a, a feedback survey form shortly on your tables. Um, there's also an online survey which is linked with a QR code you can see on the table. Um, please, please, please fill in the survey. We really care what you think. We publish the results unlike almost every other end. Um, and so we really care about what you think and we really need almost all of you to fill in a survey for that to be meaningful. So please do that. I will be reminding you a hundred times. Cue cards, codes I've mentioned, do have a look. Um, power supplies run to every table, so you don't need to crouch in the corridors as the day progresses. You should find under your table there's a power supply and you can plug in your phones and laptops and things like that. Um, uh, so that is there. Scholarly social, I believe there is a solid scholarly social trip to the pub tomorrow night after the end of the conference. Um, I don't have details yet, but we hope to have some details of where that is, but it's usually a pub just around the corner. The R2R forum is another vital thing. So I've emailed you all 60 or 70 times about the R2R forum. I've also now joined almost all of you into the R2R forum and most of you have accepted that, so that's great. So this is supposed to be a space for conversation about scholarly communications, but also on the forum uh, is live chat. So if you want to ask questions in the chat or complain about the temperature of the room or anything like that, one of the things to do is put it in the live chat um, and you can see if you go into the forum at the top, there's a sort of bar that says live chat and that takes you to the live chat thread um, and, and you can post in there. Um, or you can scroll down a bit and click where it says R2R 2024 conference and you can see threads in there. We'll also be using the forum for the polls uh, at, in the debate. So you really need to get signed up and used to the forum before the debate starts so that you can vote. It's don't leave it till the actual voting because you might you know, not be signed up or something. Um, and some of the workshops will also be using the forums to communicate some of their findings. So the forum is super, super important. Um, so uh, please sign up to that you know, as, as soon as you get an opportunity. Um, this is basically our, our program. Um, there is a summary program on the back of your badge if you haven't noticed that already. That's a fab invention I'm very pleased with. Um, so if you get lost, wonder what's happening next, it's just on there. Um, and uh, this is what we're doing. A couple of things to mention. So workshops, after the keynote, we'll send you to the workshops. Jane uh, Marks, who's the workshop wrangler, will wrangle you. Um, and you'll have to find your way to your room. If you've not uh, been allocated, so you can find out what workshop you've been allocated to, probably your first choice, possibly your second choice, by looking at the delegate list. 
If it says N against your name, it means you, there's no workshop allocated to you for some reason. Um, you can then try and get into a workshop of your choice. There will be room for everybody. But if you find that the workshop you want to get into is already full with people who've been allocated, please go to a different one because the rooms can get full. Um, lightning talks are in the Paget room in the breaks next to the snow room downstairs where you started. Um, you can just wander in and out um, and, and attend the lightning talks that you want to attend. And they're in the timetable so you know when they start. Um, I'm just looking through if there's anything else I'm supposed to mention. Uh, there's a short drinks reception sponsored by SSP in the evening at the end. Um, and uh, at the end of the second day, there's workshop feedback, which sounds potentially dull, but actually is really good. I brief the workshop leaders to say the purpose of the feedback is to basically make everybody in the room wish they'd been at your workshop instead of the one they went to. Um, so they're, what they're supposed to do is tell you what went on at that workshop, what they concluded, and, and just give the plenary a sense of what the other workshops were, because you only get to go to one. Uh, but that's well worth attending, and it's quite quick fire. Um, and then right at the end, uh, Heather Staines, who is here, presumably, yes, seen there, is going to do a, a brilliant summary of the whole conference in about 15 minutes right at the end, which is going to be absolutely superb and awesome in every way. So um, uh, cancel your four o'clock train and rebook it for six o'clock or something, seven o'clock. So that's our program. So uh, really, that is the welcome. Welcome to the conference. The next thing we have is our opening keynote. We're back to opening keynotes. We, we didn't have them for a little while uh, in the sort of hybrid days. Oh, the hybrid days. Um, uh, but we're very pleased to have Antonia Seymour uh, giving us the opening keynote for today. And so I'm just really going to welcome her onto the stage and ask her to uh, begin.